are in Vertical. We're trying to put these kids on the emerging technology. That these people are giving you is that by not giving you what you want, by not giving you what you need, by not filling the role of validating you or supporting your desires or meeting your needs or seeing you for who you are or understanding what it is that you have to offer, these people, by doing that, are giving you one of the greatest gifts you'll ever get, which is to learn how to give those things to yourself. Really? And this is like not even just for people who are spiritual. This is not for people who are on a self-development path. This is simply for people who just want to be able to be happy no matter where they are and no matter who they are around. Okay? So this, this um, being around people that don't get you, being around people that don't support who you are, being around people who live in a way that's totally different from how you live, um, that are living, you know, yeah, and have a completely different perspective of life and have a completely different way of viewing what is right and what is wrong, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. These people, man, they are some of your greatest teachers and they are going to give you some of your greatest gifts because the thing is, the more they deny you, what it is that you're asking from them, the more they deny you love and acceptance <laughs> and validation and, yeah, all of those lovely things that we want from our conscious community, um, the more you are going to learn how to give those things to yourself. And that means that you can go out into the world and you can be doing whatever it is you want to be doing. You can be doing it wherever you want to be doing it. And you don't need people around you cheerleading you on. You don't need people around you validating you. You don't need people around you telling you you're on the right path because you can do that for yourself. And that is one of the most empowering things ever is to know that you can be around your family. You can be around your coworkers. You can be around whoever it is in your life that doesn't support you that doesn't see life the way that you see life, and you can know that you can be okay, that you can keep being yourself, that you can keep getting your own needs met through your own self, that you know what to do for you, and it doesn't matter. You don't need everyone around you to be on the same page as you, okay? And the second thing that these people can give you <coughs> is that they can give you an, an, a different perspective of life. They can give you an extra, you know, hit of compassion because when, when we're around people that are in pain and that are not, um, that are also not getting their needs met, that are not being validated for who they are from their own self, like they're not loving themselves, they're not acknowledging themselves, they're not, like they're in a state of pain. If you can get yourself out of that also being in a state of pain and reacting and and being upset that they're not validating you and being upset that they're not accepting you and, you know, having that pain come up in yourself because it's being reflected to you in them, you can reflect back to them compassion. You can reflect back to them validation. You can respect reflect back to them love. Even though you don't necessarily agree with who they are and what they are, you can reflect back to them all of those things that you're now giving yourself. <coughs> and that's going to diffuse the situation by a billion fold. You're going to be inadvertently teaching them how to love themselves through loving yourself. And you see how this has like a spiral effect, like a domino effect. Just like you reacting with pain every single time they reject you has a domino effect. It's like you're reflecting their pain back to them. They're reflecting their pain back to you, blah, blah, blah. It's like a ping pong bounce back and forth. You cut off that cycle. You decide, I validate myself no matter who I'm around. I love myself no matter who I'm around. I'm going to be myself no matter who I'm around. Respectfully, right? So it's not about pushing your your um, ideals or your way of being onto someone. So you're not going to walk around being an angry vegan and telling everyone that they have to eat, you know, pointing out how disgusting everyone is. You just go around being yourself, you know, the veganism is just an example. You go around being yourself, living how you live, not expecting anyone in your environment to get it or to agree with you or to understand. Just be, right? And all of a sudden you make it a little bit more comfortable for them to just be. And then they're not quite as uncomfortable with you anymore, right? And so this just has like a whole big effect. So just to recap, spending time around family, coworkers, people you can't actually get away from, 